with Anastasia Chaska, a fashion designer with over 20 years of experience and a sewing educator. And I'm really excited you're here to share another sewing adventure with me today. Welcome to Sew Anastasia, and today we are going to create an A-line skirt. And this is the skirt we're going to be making today. The skirt is so easy to make. There are no darts, there's no pleats, there's just a front pattern, a back pattern, and a waistband with a zipper. It is that easy. And it fits great. It flares away from your hips, has a little bit of movement, but not too much movement, so it's super flattering to wear. And you can make it any length you'd like. Right now I have it at about 18 inches, but you can always add to your pattern and make it longer. This A-line skirt pattern is great for beginners because they're so easy to make. It's just a couple pattern pieces and a zipper. And if you're a sewing enthusiast, this skirt is gonna be so easy for you to create, you're gonna whip up a ton of them. They are such a staple to any wardrobe. So let's make one. If you're not already a subscriber to Sewing Anastasia, make sure you subscribe and make sure you hit that notification bell so you know when all the new videos come out. And if you already subscribe, thank you so much for watching. Supplies for this project are super simple. You're going to need your rotary cutter to cut it out. You're going to need your snips for all those little threads. You're going to need your pins to hold together your side seams. You're also going to need some matching thread. And you're going to need a tape measure so you know what size you are. And you're going to need a pattern. So you're going to download the pattern at sewingastasia.com. There is a front pattern piece, a back pattern piece, and a waistband piece. You're also gonna need a little bit of interfacing for your waistband, and you're going to need a super fun fabric. I'm gonna be using this brocade today. Oh, and I almost forgot, you are also gonna need a zipper for the skirt because we gotta get in and out of it. How could I have forgotten a zipper? And you want your zipper at least 12 to 18 inches long, so that way it's going over your hips so you can easily get in and out of your skirt. I'm going to be using an invisible zipper today, but you could also do this with a regular zipper or a visible zipper as well. The first thing you wanna do is to grab your tape measure and measure your waist. You need to know what size your waist is so you know what size to cut out because we all know sizing for companies is all different and all over the place. So once you have the measurement for your waist, check out the size chart and make sure you cut out the appropriate size. This skirt was designed to hang on your natural waist, so if you want to wear this skirt lower, make sure you're measuring lower on your body. Also, this is a shorter A-line skirt, so if you'd like it longer, all you need to do is extend the hem. Now that you've chosen your size, it's time to cut out your pattern. So you should have a center front skirt, which is gonna be placed on fold. You're going to have a center back skirt, which is cut too. And you're going to have a waistband pattern, which is gonna be cut on fold as well. This skirt is so easy. It is only three pieces. Can you believe it? Next, you're going to cut out all your fabric pieces. I've already cut my fabric pieces out. We have the center back skirt, so right and left center back. We have the front of our skirt, which was cut on fold, so your skirt front is gonna be one full piece. And this here is the waistband. I also cut out interfacing the same size as the waistband pattern, and I've ironed it down so that way it's fused to the waistband. You want to purchase an interfacing that's closest to the fabric that you're working with. I'm working with a heavier brocade, so I chose a medium weight fusible interfacing for my waistband. If you're using a super thin fabric, maybe you want to sew in or maybe you want a really light fusible. So make sure you choose your interfacing appropriately. The next step after you cut out all of your fabric is to finish the edges. So I serged all the edges of my fabric, but if you don't have a serger, you could use an overcast stitch, you could use a zigzag stitch, any method you like for finishing the edges of your fabric. You could even bias bind them or use pinking shears. Next, we're gonna start sewing. We are going to sew up our side seams of the skirt. So you wanna place right sides together, pin them together, and then sew them up. So we're gonna place right sides together, and we are going to pin up our side seam here. So line up the top of your skirt and start pinning. You always wanna make sure you're putting your pins horizontally, so that way they're real easy to pull out while you're sewing. Now, if you use a really wiggly, loose fabric like I did, you might notice that your ends might be a little longer or shorter. Don't worry about that. We can always go back later and even out the hemline. Now that we have that side pinned up, we are gonna do the exact same thing to the other side, just starting at the top and pinning all the way down to the bottom. 
So remember, if you have any extra fabric and things turned out uneven, let it happen at the bottom and we can just smooth out the hem later. Now we're gonna sew a half inch seam allowance all the way down the side seam. And we're gonna do that to both sides. So let's go sew them up. I have my sewing machine set up to a straight stitch and I have the edge of my fabric lined up with the half inch mark on my sewing machine. Don't forget to back stitch when you start. Now we're gonna do the exact same thing to the other side. Back stitch at the end and cut. Now we have both of our side seams sewn up. What we wanna do is go over to the iron and iron open our seams so they're nice and flat. So literally just open them up and give them a good steam. Once you have your seams ironed open, they should look something like this. You might be wondering, why should I iron open my seams? Well, by ironing open your seams, you're flattening your fabric out so it's gonna lay and hang on you really nice. Next, grab your waistband and we are gonna attach it to the top of the skirt. Now what we're gonna do is take our waistband and we're gonna place right sides together. Make sure your waistband is open right now and just start pinning at one end and work your way all the way down. Now we have our waistband fully pinned on. It's time to sew it up at a half inch seam allowance. I'm gonna start here at the edge and just work my way all the way down the waistband at a half inch seam allowance. So let's go sew it up. Don't forget to backstitch at the beginning. And take your pins out before you get to them. Backstitch at the end and cut. Now that that's sewn together, it looks good, but you'll notice this bubble here. So what you wanna do is go over to the iron and just iron this seam here nice and flat, iron everything down, and then take your waistband, iron your waistband in half, and then it's going to look something like this for your waistband on the inside. So we've ironed it directly in half and we wanna push all of our seam allowance down. Our next step is putting in the zipper. I'm going to be using an invisible zipper. Also, if you'd like in-depth details on how to put in an invisible zipper, make sure you check out my video on it. So the first thing we wanna do is open up our waistband. You want to see that crease right in the center of your waistband. That's where our zipper stop's gonna go up to. So unzip your zipper, flip it over, make sure the twill tape is on the edge of your fabric. And now this little zipper stop here, we wanna make sure that's right at the fold there on the waistband. Also make sure your seam allowances are face down when you sew this zipper on. And put your zipper foot on and let's sew it up. I'm gonna be stitching from the zipper stop here all the way down to the bottom of the zipper. And just stop and back stitch when you get here and we'll end up closing up the bottom later. And you're gonna do that on both sides so that way you have a complete zipper in your skirt. I have my zipper foot on and I have my needle position moved all the way over to the left. When you get to the end, back stitch and cut. Now that we have one side of the zipper in, we unzip the zipper and we take it and we flip it over once so that way when it flips back, it's going to line up. If you flip the zipper too many times, it's gonna get all twisty and you're gonna have to seam rip it and redo it. So now we're gonna sew this other side of the zipper down. We're gonna line it up with the same spot on the waistband, so the fold of the waistband with this top zipper stop here, and then just lining it up all the way over to the edge of the fabric. Make sure that your zipper teeth are towards the inside of your fabric and that you just have it flipped over once. Backstitch at 
to the end and cut. Our zipper is in and it is invisible. And you can see our waistline seam here lines up great. That is really key to a really nice zipper. If yours is off, you can seam rip one side and just try again. Now you'll notice this is a little bubbly. It's cause this fabric is so delicate. So I'm just gonna go hit it with an iron and flatten it out. I ironed down the back of the skirt here where the zipper is. You can see what a difference, so nice and flat now. And yes, there actually is a zipper in there. Check that out. Now what we need to do is finish up the very bottom here. So what we wanna do is place right sides together and just sew it up. Okay, so now that I have right sides together, what we wanna do is start up here where we left off, then I'm gonna start up a half inch into that seam to make sure there's no hole in our skirt at the bottom of the zipper. And then we're gonna sew all the way down. And we're going to leave on our zipper foot and leave it in the same position. I'm sewing it up at a half inch and I have my zipper foot on the right hand side and I have my needle positioned all the way over to the right because I want to sew as close as I can to those stitches that I left off with. Don't forget to backstitch. Hold your zipper out of the way. Don't get it caught in your seam and just work your way all the way down. Backstitch at the end and cut. So it should look something like this. We've started right here as close as we can to that last seam and we've worked our way down into our half inch seam. Now it's time to finish off the top of the zipper and this waistband edge. What do we do with it, right? I'm gonna show you exactly what to do. First thing we're gonna do is open up our waistband. We're gonna take our zipper tape. We're gonna fold it over so it's out of the way. And now we're gonna take our waistband and we are gonna fold it. We wanna make sure it's folding at that crease that we already have there, because we've already ironed it. Fold it all the way down. And now what we're gonna do is put on the left side of our zipper foot and move our needle position over and we are gonna sew right on the outside of that serge. Don't forget to back stitch. And then just work your way all the way down to the bottom of the waistband. You don't need to go any further than that. Sometimes it likes to get stuck up here because it's so bulky. So just move your needle out of your fabric, lift up your foot, and just push it forward a little bit. And then you can always just back stitch again to make sure you don't have any skip stitches and come back down. And you get to the bottom of the waistband, back stitch and cut. So it should look something like this. And now what we're gonna do is take the waistband, flip it out, and the inside looks really beautiful and so does the outside. Now you're gonna do the exact same thing to the other side. Okay, so our waistband is still flipping open, so we need to sew down our waistband. So what we're gonna do is stitch in the ditch and it's gonna make the waistband stay nice and flat and you're not gonna see a stitch on the outside because we are literally going to stitch inside of the seam line. And then you'll end up with a stitch out here on the back on the inside of your skirt. So this is also why we took all of our layers here and we ironed them down. So it's gonna keep all the bulk of the waistband face down and not in your waistband. I put a stitch in the ditch foot on, but you don't have to use this foot. You can just use a regular foot and make sure you keep your needle center with your seam. So you'll notice on the outside, we can barely see that stitch because it's in the ditch, it's in that seam. And when we flip it over, you can see the stitch right there. We are so close to being done. So if you need to even out the hem of your skirt or make it shorter, right now is a great time to try it on and figure that out. Make sure you finish the edge of your hem and then you can hem it. I'm gonna be doing a single folded hem, but you could do a rolled hem, you could do a bias binding hem, you could do a blind hem, you could do a hem facing, you could use hem tape. There are so many different ways you can hem something. So choose your method and finish your skirt up and follow along and I'll be doing a single folded hem. And that means I'm going to be taking the edge of the fabric and folding it to the inside about three eighths of an inch and just stitching it down. So it's called a single folded hem because there's only one fold. 
I have my fabric folded up to the inside, three eighths of an inch, and I'm going to stitch it down. Overlap your stitches and back stitch. We did it, we finished it, it is so cute. I cannot wait to try this on and check it out. So our skirt is looking great. It's made out of this beautiful silk brocade. We have a single folded hem at the bottom. We have a nice interface waistband with the stitch in the ditch. And then we have a really nice finished zipper here on the other side. This skirt is looking awesome. And it was so easy to make. This skirt is great out of so many different fabrics. You could dress it down, make it out of a twill, make it out of a corduroy, dress it up, make it out of a brocade, make it out of something shiny, beady, sparkly. The option is yours and the style is yours as well. Run with it, have fun. Here it is, we did it. Here's our A-line skirt. It fits so good and it's so cute. Remember, you can make your skirt any length you want. All you need to do is add inches to the hem. Thanks so much for watching Sew Anna Stage of Today. If you have any questions on any of the details of how to make this skirt, make sure you leave it down below and I will get back with you as soon as I can. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, give it some applause, and leave a comment down below. I would love to know what you thought of the skirt or the video, and what kind of fabric would you make this skirt out of, and what length would you make it to? I would love to know. And don't forget to tag me in your project, Sewing Anastasia, so that way I can repost them and share them with everyone else. I love keeping everyone inspired and creative. So make sure you follow Instagram, and Facebook, and TikTok, and Twitter, and all those fabulous social media websites. And don't forget about YouTube. So if you're not already a subscriber to Sewing Anastasia on YouTube, make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell so you know when all the new videos come out every single week. And if you already subscribed, thank you so much for subscribing and following along. And don't forget, you can download this pattern at SewingAnastasia.com under Digital Downloads. Thanks so much for watching. Bye!